What's going on, you guys? Uh, I have a question today from a student of mine who's in one of my mastermind programs. He just started, uh, and he said, Hey, Lloyd, I have a question for you. You said many times that the most attractive trait a man can have is confidence. I am someone who has never felt confident with women, and because of that, women do not like me. How do I gain confidence with women if I don't get any positive reactions? It seems like becoming confident without confidence is impossible. Please help. <laughs> well, not only am I going to answer the impossible, I'm going to do this guy one better. I'm going to give him a step-by-step -step process that he can use even during this quarantine. You can do this at home that's going to build you a ton of confidence and be able to make it easier for you to go up and talk to women and show that confidence. Okay, so uh, before I get into this, you guys, if you want to become like him or, well, you know, right, he's right at the beginning, uh, but if you want to join one of my mastermind programs where we talk about subjects like these all the time, uh, basically, there's a link in my description. Click on that link, fill out the form, and if you seem like a good fit, we'll get back to you. Okay, so let's answer this guy's question. Because yes, confidence is built on demonstrated performance, meaning your mind has seen something that you've done and it knows that you can do it again. Same thing happens with women. If you've walked up, talked to, attracted, dated, very attractive women, then it makes sense that you would feel confident to go up and talk to them and do that stuff again because your mind has seen you do it. But if you've never done it, then you can't gain the confidence, and if you can't show that confidence, it's gonna be very difficult for you to be attractive to women. So how do you break out of this catch-22 scenario? Well, the first thing is that when people ask me questions like this, usually they're kind of thinking in a box. They're thinking in a very small area, okay? And they're thinking, well, if I can't be confident, I can't do this. All right, you need to think outside of the box. And what do I mean by this? Just because you're not confident with women does not mean that you cannot be confident with yourself, okay? The first thing that I would recommend that you do is be confident being alone. Be confident being by yourself. This is a skill that anyone can develop and it's super easy to do. You just practice doing the things that you wanna do every single day. Okay, I'll give you an example. One thing that you can do to prove to your mind, and your mind isn't dumb, it, it won't make you confident if it doesn't see anything. Uh, one thing you can do to basically tell your mind that you're a confident person is start with very, very small goals, okay? And I don't even mean them being associated with women. Yes, small goals when you go out are good. Like, let's say you walk up and you talk to a bunch of women, but none of them come home with you or none of them give you their phone numbers or whatever, but maybe one of them smiled, okay? That's a small win that you can focus on. Now your brain has seen that, you focused on it, you know you can get a girl to smile. Maybe next time you can get a girl to talk to you longer and smile. Maybe next time you can get to talk to her longer, smile, and get the phone number, okay? See how confidence builds up slowly with small wins. But another thing that you can do right at home, right now, is do other tasks that are new and complete them. Like let's say you woke up and said, okay, I'm gonna learn five uh, words in Spanish. You wake up, you learn your five words in Spanish, then you've completed the task and you go to bed feeling accomplished. You had a goal, you went out and you accomplished it and it was something new that might have been a little challenging for you, okay? Do this every single day. Come up with small goals that you can hit. Ramp it up slowly. Make sure that, you don't have to make sure that they're new, but make sure that there's stuff that you can do and uh, doing new things I think is probably the, the best way to go. Because now what you're telling your brain is that you're telling your brain, hey, I am somebody that when I go off and do new things, I can accomplish them. I am good at doing new challenging tasks. Guess what another new challenging task is? Talking to women. Talking to women that maybe you find very attractive, that you're nervous to talk to, that you don't feel confident around, okay? That's a new challenge. Your brain has already seen that you can do other things that are new, that are challenging, and so it automatically is gonna assume now that you can walk up and talk to them, okay? So build up these small wins over time. You can do this at home in quarantine. I gave you this uh, learn five languages in Spanish example. There are other things that you can do. I don't know what your interests are, but write some of those down. Start accomplishing tasks. If you start accomplishing tasks every day, you're gonna be a, a machine. And by the end of the week, you know, or two weeks, a month, you're gonna be a whole new person, okay? A lot of times I do this with students in my program, I try and get them to build up small wins. And if they can't do anything with women, or if they're stuck at home like they are now, we work on other things that build up their confidence at home. And these are some of the exercises that we do. Now, when I talk about being confident with women, again, it this is a lot of people don't know if this is going to translate to skill with women because they, they feel very confident in other aspects of their life. 
Uh, but with women, they, they, they find it's a little challenging. Uh, so to answer those guys' fears, I'm going to tell you a story. Basically, this happened to me when I was in college. Now, when I was in college, if you know anything about me, I was not very successful with women at all. Okay, didn't have a girlfriend. No girls liked me. I had very few friends. But um, I did a performance in front of uh, a bunch of sororities. Okay, a bunch of sororities and fraternities were in the audience. It was like 200, 200 people or something like that. And I did like this hip hop dance that I came up with in front of them. Okay, I was super nervous before I walked up there, but I was a decent dancer. So I walked up, I did my performance, and I freaking crushed it. Like everybody loved the performance. You know, they were all drunk, so, you know, who knows if it was good. The point is, the audience loved it. Okay, they were having, having a good time. Anyway, there was an after party after that performance. I went to this after party and I felt like the freaking man because they had given me so much like positive feedback. I was feeling really, really confident. I was on like a confidence high. So even though previously I had not succeeded at all with women while I was at this party, pretty much every single girl that I talked to, it felt like it was like clicking. I felt like a spark of attraction with every single one. I was just, you know, um, I would basically just walk over, grab a girl, bring her in, talk to her for a little bit, get her phone. I, I was, I was the man. Okay, at this party. Then I went to bed. I woke up, and guess what? I was not the man anymore. I tried to do the same thing and it didn't work, okay? So what happened there was I built up a lot of confidence and because it was short-lived, it was temporary. So during that night, I was able to uh, utilize the confidence that I had built from my performance into being confident with women. And you can do the same thing too, but build it up over a longer period of time than just one performance. Build it up over the course of weeks, um, and then when you go out, you're gonna find yourself being a lot able to tackle new challenging situations again and again because you're used to doing that, okay? And again, focus on small wins, be comfortable being by yourself, and I see no reason why you won't be able to be confident and walk up to women um, without actually having been confident with them in the first place. So. Thanks for watching, you guys. If you made it to end, consider subscribing. I come out with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in joining my masterminds or, or one of my programs where you get personally coached by me, like I said, there's a link in the description box below. Click on the link, fill out the form, and if you're a good fit, we'll talk. Good luck out there, you guys.